One of the most common things you will want to do with Maptitude is create a map using your own data. Whether you store your data in Microsoft Excel, Access, SQL Server, or any ODBC compliant data source, Maptitude can work with your data. Create a Map Wizard gives you start to finish assistance for locating, geographically analyzing, and mapping your data. For example, this customer spreadsheet has address and sales data that can be used in several ways. I'll start by clicking the New File button to launch Create a Map Wizard. Choose Map of My Own Data and click Next. Maptitude prompts you for the file that contains the data. In this case, my customer data is in an Excel spreadsheet, so I'll choose the file and click Open. Here you can verify the fields that can be used for mapping. These are correct, so I will click Next. And now I can choose how to use the data. Note, the types of maps that you can create will depend on the fields in your data and the country package you have installed. This option will allow me to aggregate the customer data by postal code and create maps that, for example, show the number of customers in each postal code or the total or average sales for each postal code. Choose whether to create a theme on the postal codes using your data. In this case, let's make a color theme showing the total second quarter sales for each zip code. Maptitude displays a map illustrating the results. You can see that postal codes with high sales totals are shown in a darker green color, and postal codes where sales are smaller are shown in pale yellow and lighter green. All of your aggregated data are available to map, not just the second quarter sales that I chose in the Create a Map wizard. For example, if I click the Color Theme button, I could choose to map the number of customers, the total first quarter sales, the average first quarter sales, etc. I'm going to choose this field to change the map to show the number of customers in each postal code. And now I'm going to add a bar chart theme showing the change in sales over the two quarters. I'll click the chart theme button, choose the quarter one sales and quarter two sales fields, choose the bar chart option here, and click OK. Maptitude adds the theme to the map. Let's zoom in to see the downtown area. You can see that sales were high and increased in this zip code, and sales were low and decreased in this zip code. Now let's start Create a Map Wizard again to make a pin map of the customers. Again, I'll click the New File button to launch Create a Map Wizard. Notice that Maptitude remembers where your customer data are, so I'll click Next and next again. I want to locate my customers with as much precision as possible, so I'm going to choose this top option. Maptitude will try to locate all of my customers by address, and then for any records they cannot find by address, Maptitude will do its best to find a good approximate location. Note that I could add the customer layer to the existing map by checking this box, but for now I want to create a new map, so I'll leave it unchecked, and click Next. To locate the customers, Maptitude needs a unique ID field for each record. Since I already have one, I'll click Next. Enter a name for the new customer file you're creating, and click Save. Again, choose whether to create a theme based on your data. I'm going to show the customers with a color theme based on what sales territory that they are in. Next, you can choose whether to perform any analysis on the features you're locating. For example, if you're locating retail sites, you might want to build buffers around them to study the surrounding area. Or if you're locating customers, you may want to find hotspots where they're concentrated. In this example, we'll show the area that encompasses the customers and its weighted center based on sales. I'll go ahead and accept these default names for the map layers that Maptitude will create. Maptitude reports the number of your records that were located. Notice that it shows that there were 4,509 records in my Excel file and Maptitude was able to find the address and zip code for 4,470 of those records. An additional two may have had incorrect zip code data, but Maptitude was still able to find the address in a nearby zip code. Maptitude could not find 37 addresses. Perhaps they were PO boxes, or they just listed the name of a building or shopping center, or perhaps they simply had incorrect information. Maptitude located these records at approximate locations within their respective zip codes. I'll go ahead and close the report, and now Maptitude displays the map of customers with the color theme showing the sales territory and the weighted center and encompassing area. If I open a data view of this new customer layer, 
you will see that Maptitude has added a field with a geocoding precision for each record. If you wanted, you could use this field to select the 37 features that were located by zip code and look for mistakes in the addresses or locate them manually if you know their true locations. See the video on creating a pin map for more information. All Maptitude maps are completely customizable. For example, I can change the symbol that is used for the weighted center location. I can add a size theme showing the volume of sales for each customer. And I can change the colors used in the color theme. Finally, I'm going to zoom into downtown Denver here and use the Info tool to see the data associated with each customer. For example, if I click on this customer, you can see that all of my original Excel data is attached to it. This is customer 4410 in Henderson, Colorado in my Northeast Territory with second quarter sales of 241,562. That sums up how to use Create a Map Wizard to get your data into Maptitude. You may want to check out some of the other videos for more information on some of the topics mentioned in this tutorial, such as thematic mapping, selecting features, and geographic analysis.